Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Virginia, and today I'm going to be bringing to you some spring DIY decor items. This is probably gonna be my last spring DIY video. I think I'm gonna venture into some thrift flips and maybe just some traditional everyday farmhouse decor. So for the last spring video of the year, I have six different ideas to share with you. Some of them are a little more Easter specific and some are just spring in general. Starting with this really easy bunny cloche, I took one of the Dollar Tree cloches that they have, put in this gold bunny I got in the dollar spot section of Target and added some little white flowers to it, the finishing touch. I really love this ribbon. I picked it up from Timu almost a year ago, I think, and I'm just wrapping it around the cloche and tying it off in a bow. I've seen this style or really similar to at Target. I know that they sell the glass egg cloches, but I believe that was $5. For, so for this one only being a dollar, it's a little bit of the cheaper version. I've seen a lot of them on Instagram. So so this is the more affordable way to DIY this for the spring or Easter, which is coming right up. Next up, I had purchased from the Dollar Tree their styrofoam eggs and was trying to think of a way that I wanted to use them in a DIY. So I had some really nice paper and I decided we were going to decoupage them and kind of create this nest for them. To start off, we're gonna be making this little egg nest and I have these really gorgeous scrapbooking paper books that I actually got from Timu. I think I'm gonna be doing, maybe on a Tuesday, not on my typical Thursday upload day, a Timu haul, because I got some really fun stuff, especially for crafting, including these gorgeous scrapbooking paper books. So to start off with this DIY, I am taking the styrofoam eggs from Dollar Tree. I ended up going with five, but it'll just depend on what word you want to spell out, how many styrofoam eggs that you will need. And then using my, I have one of the Cricut paper cutters, but you could just use scissors or whatever kind of paper cutter that you have. And I cut small strips out of our scrapbooking paper. And now I am just using a little bit of Mod Podge to adhere all of our paper strips to our egg. This really reminded me of, I think it was probably like back in kindergarten when you used to blow up a balloon and then cover it in the Mod Podge glue of a newspaper and then you'd pop the balloon and you had like an egg. Did anyone ever make that <laughs> for Easter in school? I just really remember that vividly, the really gross soaking wet newspaper and how it would get the ink on your hands. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> because I really remember that. Now I'm just repeating the exact same process, cutting out my strips from the scrapbooking paper and using the Mod Podge to adhere them in all different directions around my egg. And then once I had applied the paper to all the eggs, I let that dry and I started working on the nest, which is really gonna be a pail. Picked this up at the Dollar Tree, put a little bit of stuffing down below, but you could put plastic bags, newspaper, anything that you have, and then topped it with some Spanish moss, of course, also from the Dollar Tree. And then I set about kind of figuring out how I wanted everything to look. At first, I thought I was gonna include that gold bunny, but it was a little bit smaller than I originally thought it my head so decided to just go with the eggs and I was pulling out some of the styrofoam eggs that I had painted wasn't really liking how they looked and then I remembered that I had these wood eggs from the Dollar Tree and I really liked just the natural look of them so I ended up going with those as a little bit of a finishing touch, I wanted to wrap the pail in some jute. This is actually the jute rope. Again, I have still not been able to find the jute rolls at my Dollar Tree. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have. It will give me some hope. I look every single time that I go. I know a lot of you have suggested looking in the automotive section, so I have found it there, but I'm just wondering if it's ever going to come back at Crafters Square. This is the completed look. After I wrapped the handle of the pail in that jute, I placed the eggs on top and absolutely love how it turned out. This next DIY is kind of a combination of the first two. I'm using the gold bunny that I got at the dollar spot section of Target and kind of making the own nest for it. At first, I wanted this piece of wood, I picked it up at the crafter square section, to resemble a slice of wood, like a slice of a tree that you would get. So I only stained around the edges and then I kind of realized this is not looking how I pictured it in my head. 
I'm sure that happens a ton. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever had an idea in your head and when you start doing it, you just kind of go in the complete opposite direction. So I ended up just staining the entire thing. I'm using my Waverly stain in Antique. This is always my go-to. And this is gonna be the base for the bunny kind of diorama that we're making. I grabbed those styrofoam eggs from the Dollar Tree and I wrapped them completely in jute. You'll actually see me do it also a little bit later in the video using some white yarn. And now I'm just grabbing all sorts of different floral picks for my collection and trying to figure out how I want this scene to look. I really liked these smaller ones in purple and white. So I'm kind of playing around placing those and figuring out where I want those jute eggs to go. Once we had everything all placed down, I went in with the hot glue to make sure everything stayed put and also went back to the trusty Spanish moss from Dollar Tree. I absolutely hate working with Spanish moss because it's so messy and gets everywhere, but it gives such a beautiful look. I even tried with raffia before to see if I could do something a little less messy and it just it didn't have that same spring look as the Spanish moss. So I resorted to just having to clean up a mess later. Also, if you're enjoying today's video, please make sure to hit the like button. It's that thumbs up down below. And if you're enjoying it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos pretty much every week. I did go on vacation last week, so I did miss you guys, but I try to put out a new DIY video weekly. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. Next, we are leaving the Easter side of spring and just focusing on spring and our eventual descent into summer, which I am very much looking forward to that warmer weather. I absolutely love bees and honey and any DIYs associated with that. So I will link above, I have one, possibly even two videos just dedicated to different bee and honey DIYs, but I wanted to include this one because it did remind me of the beginning of spring. I took this easel which I had DIY'd a while ago for a I believe different spring DIY but I wanted to repurpose it for this bee themed one so I painted it and then I went in with a stippling brush with some yellow paint some pink paint and then some white to just kind of blend everything together I liked the kind of different textured look that all of these different colors gave and of course, I love making anything farmhouse and distressing it a little bit, so I did go around the sides and the edges with my brown paint. I swirled some raffia into what I kind of thought looked like a little nest and placed a flower in that. I'm gonna be placing that in the lower right-hand side of this easel. These hexagon shapes are actually magnets that I picked up from the school supply section. They are jot magnets and thought they were perfect honeycombs. So I'm gonna place those on the center of the easel. Then how cute are these little bumblebee stick-ons? The Dollar Tree also has them in ladybugs. I thought they were so adorable. So I placed one in my raffia nest and also one on the easel. I absolutely love these. This is just a sign when I saw them at the Dollar Tree, I had absolutely no clue what I was gonna do with them, but thought they were too adorable to pass up, had to add them to the craft stash, and I was very happy I did because they worked perfectly for this DIY. Next up, if you do not have a lot of time on your hands or don't consider yourself the craftiest of people, this DIY is for you because it is so quick and easy to make. I am taking one of the styrofoam craft eggs from the Dollar Tree and unfortunately they of course did not come with bunny ears so I had to make those. I just cut some bunny ears out of something that's called craft board. I talked about it a lot in my last video. It is thicker than a cardstock but not quite as thick as a cardboard if you're looking for the consistency and I just hot glued those to the top of our eggs. That is how when we wrap them in jute they're going to look like bunnies instead of eggs. Now the Dollar Tree does come out with a variety of plastic eggs and they do have some plastic eggs that look like bunnies. They have bunny ears. I wasn't able to find those at my Dollar Tree. I'll try to pop up a picture from dollartree.com if I'm able to find them so that you know what you're looking for. And if you're able to find those plastic eggs, then you can skip the part of adding the ears. 
And now it is pretty simple. We're just going to be wrapping this entire project in the jute cord. It's a little bit difficult to start just at the bottom. You had to use quite a bit of hot glue to make sure everything stayed in place. But then the middle section was super easy. I only had to use a little bit of hot glue. As I am wrapping my egg slash bunny in the jute, I just wanted to give a little shout out since this DIY kind of gets me in the Easter spirit. I did start an Etsy shop. I had mentioned it a couple of videos back and I had some Valentine's Day items in my shop. I just wanted to really quickly plug two new items that are in my shop just because they're Easter related and kind of go with this overall bunny themed video. First, I have these really cute bunny bags. You can put jelly beans in them, gift cards, give them to your kids or maybe teachers. These are really cute item. And then I also have, similar to the item that I had for Valentine's Day, a hot pad in a mint green color with a variety of Easter sayings. And now that I have mentioned all of that, you can see that I am almost at the part where I can start wrapping the jute around the ears. Once I made it to the top of that styrofoam egg, I just kept the same jute cord. I didn't cut it or anything and then just started wrapping it around the ears. These are pretty durable. Like I said, they are thicker than a craft paper, but I was pretty gentle when I was wrapping them just to make sure I didn't bend the craft board at all. And now I'm going in with my really tiny scissors that I have from the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. And jute can kind of get some frays, so I'm just kind of trimming down the bunny and trimming off any of the frays that might have formed in the jute. Since I had to start with a new piece of jute, I just hot glued the beginning of it to what I'm going to have as the backside of my bunny, just so that you can't see where I placed the hot glue. And now to really make it look like a bunny, I know at the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, a lot of places, the little bunny bums are all the rage. So I took a small little white pom-pom and just hot glued it to the bottom back of the bunny to be their little cotton tail. I wasn't sure what I was gonna go with, the jute bunny or the yarn one, you'll see in just a second. So I made three of them and figured I could use whatever I didn't use in this one for future crafts. These wood signs, the Dollar Tree pretty much comes out with them for every season. As you could see, this one said, hello fall. So this was from the fall time, but I'm going to remedy that by taking some of my scrapbooking paper. I always pick up my scrapbooking paper from Hobby Lobby. They usually have a good sale going on or a good deal on it. So once I fit that to size and cut it out, I place that down in the center of the frame. And as you can see, I decided to go with the white bunny. I hot glued that down. Something still felt like it was missing a little bit. So I wanted to add an egg to the top of the bead hanger. I went with the wood egg that I had painted purple. Didn't really like that look. Then I remembered these wood eggs that I used previously in that earlier DIY. Thought that fit perfectly, so I went ahead and placed that at the center of the bead garland. Another spring DIY that you can use all season long and isn't Easter specific. I always love using different tissue papers or different napkins to make crafts. So when I saw the Dollar Tree had these really nice napkins in their party section, I knew with that I wanted to do a DIY with them. So I just took the napkin and I did split it because it's usually two ply from the Dollar Tree. And then I just cut out the different images that I liked. We have some roses in there some butterflies and I believe even some really small tulips. I just cut as close as I possibly could. If there was a little bit of napkin showing, it didn't really matter because once we add the Mod Podge on, it kind of melts away. So you don't have to get too intricate with how closely you cut around your napkin. I am using a dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You could really use any kind. I liked this one because it didn't have a super glossy finish and I'm currently out of my matte Mod Podge. So I only have the glossy and the dishwasher safe one. So I don't think that you need to use this one. Really any Mod Podge that you have is gonna work just fine. And I'm picking up the different pieces of the napkin, placing them on with just a little bit of Mod Podge. And as you can see, it dries completely clear. So you don't have to worry if you have some kind of glumps in certain spaces. It'll dry nice and smooth for you. 
I hope you enjoyed all of these spring and Easter DIYs. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.